Greetings, Panthers. Welcome back to another episode of SWD Panther TV. I'm your host, Joshua Small. Sometimes when we are feeling down, we need a bit of motivation and encouragement. Here's this week's inspirational quote. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill. Did you catch the morning announcements? If you didn't, we've got you covered. Here are your weekly announcements. Homecoming week will continue with Monday being Celebrity Slash Character Day, Tuesday is Blast from the Past, and Wednesday is Spirit Day. Freshmen wear gold, sophomores wear blue, juniors wear black, and seniors wear white. Let's see which class will have the most school spirit, or will the faculty and staff have more school spirit? The Marietta Roswell Alumna Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated is hosting a virtual informational meeting on Sunday, October 17th at 4 p.m. for sophomores and juniors. Business casual attire is required. Please stop by the Counseling Center wall to scan the QR code to register. Please RSVP by Wednesday, October 13th. The deadline for submitting the application for National Honor Society is October 8th. Please complete your application this week. Make sure that you send the teacher recommendation link to your teachers. No application will be considered after the October 8th deadline. This concludes your weekly announcements. Back to you, Josh. The U.S. is facing a national crisis at the border with Haitians who have fled their country. Here's Morgan and Wesley with the lead story. According to CBS News, the country of Haiti continues to be beset by rampant insecurity, gang violence, and political turmoil since the downfall of the Haitian government. As a result of the July assassination of their president, Jovenel Moise, and the 7.2 magnitude earthquake that struck the island in August. Looking for safety, Haitians turned to the U.S., but were denied as little as an asylum. Between September 19th and the 27th, about 37 flights landed in Haiti with approximately 3,936 migrants. The majority of the people hadn't been back to Haiti in some time, saying that they lived in Chile, Brazil, and other South American countries. Nonetheless, they were still deported to Haiti, where they were met with dangerous gangs and violence, but not just from Haitians. According to CNN, a video was leaked showing the U.S. patrol officers mistreating the Haitians. After all the commotion, President Biden addressed the issue and took full responsibility for the mistreatment on behalf of the U.S. Later, after the leaked video, unelected leader Ariel Henry interviewed with CNN, saying that as long as there are countries that are better off than others, there will always be an appeal towards those wealthier. Henry also said that we are not responsible for their deportation and Haiti cannot interfere with the international affairs of the U.S. However, all Haitians who return to their native soil are entitled to a welcome. After the video was addressed, Haiti's election was mentioned, and Henry confirmed that the election is pushed back until next year in 2022. Let's keep all parties involved in our thoughts and prayers. Back to you, Josh. Southwest Cab has many phenomenal teachers. Let's learn some more about them. Here's Jayla with Teacher's Corner. Hey Panthers, it's Jayla, and I'm here with Senior Chief Steve with NJROTC for the Teacher's Corner. As a student, I understand that teaching can be difficult at times. What motivates you to work yes. hard? Yes. Jayla, it, it definitely can. It, it really, really can. Let um, I me, mean, like, for real, for real. Yeah, like, I'm not playing. But um, what motivates me is, um, honestly, my students. When I see, um, when I present my content, and I know I'm not going to reach every student, mm -hmm. but when I see that light bulb go off in maybe one or two, maybe three or four, um, that, that gets me. What is a quote you live by and why? Oh, and there's a quote by uh, Maya Angelou, and it says, um, people will forget what you said, and people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how, I mean, how you made them feel. True. Um, so that age-old additive you, we hear sometimes, you know, action speaks louder than words. So treat people, you know, kindly and nice. You know, don't be a bully. You know, so. I like that quote. I know, it's, it's nice, ain't it? Yeah. You go ahead and write that down. Have you ever learned a valuable lesson from a student? Ooh, child. Patience. Patience. Have to have patience. Um, patience. Yes. You know, y'all have to have patience with us. And we have to have patience with y'all. So patience is a great thing I've learned. Thank you so much for your time. And that concludes mm -hmm. Teacher's Corner. Back to you, Josh. Here at Southwest Cab, we have certain procedures for dismissal and after-school activities. Pay close attention to this. Hey guys, this is Ms. Potter here, and I'm here to inform you about some very important after-school protocols. If you are a bus rider, buses leave at 3.20. So as soon as you hear that bell, 
Grab your belongings and head straight to the bus lane. Stopping to chit chat with friends, mm, it's not a good idea. You don't want to be that student running behind the bus. We would hate for you to go viral or turn into a meme. If you are staying after school for a club, organization, or sport, you must be with your coach or sponsor by 3.30 p.m. That includes all organizations. If I were you, I would want to leave on time. Make sure you call your ride ahead of time so you won't get caught up in the after school hall suite. If you have any other questions or concerns about after school protocol, please ask an administrator for more. That's it for after school protocols. Back to you, Josh. Did you watch cartoons as a kid? Do you remember the theme song of your favorite TV show? Here we have Jalen with Guess That Theme Song. Alright, so I'm going to play a song for you, and then I just want you to guess the name of it. I got you. Alright, yeah, he got it. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guess that theme song of any cartoon, okay? So you ready? Alright. Okay, who is that? What's that thing called? I know what it is. It's one damn thing. What's it called? I don't know. You don't know it? I know, like, I know the cartoon, but I don't know the name. It's Is Timmy it Turner. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so she didn't know what it was. Alright, All right. so I'm about to ask you another one. You don't know? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Okay, I'm going to ask you two questions, and you're going to have to guess the theme song. All right. All right. Hi, I'm Pablo. My name's Tyrone. I'm Uniqua. All right, he got that one right. Are you ready, kid? Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Oh, All right, good job. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what happened today in Black History. Hey guys, Ciara here with Today in Black History. On this day in 1962, history was made when James Meredith became the first black student to attend the University of Mississippi. James completed a total of nine years in the U.S. Air Force and two years at an HBCU before applying to the school, but still his application was denied twice. This decision made it all the way to the Supreme Court where the case ended in James's favor. Even after the court case was closed, he still had a hard time being able to attend the school. Races started riots where people were killed and the National Guard had to step in to kill the violence. He was then escorted onto the campus. A year later, Meredith earned his bachelor's degree and became the first black person to graduate from the University of Mississippi. That's all for today in Black History. Back to you, Josh. Want to see a blast from the past? Here's Karanthi with your teacher glow up. What's up, Princess TV? It's Karan. Today, I'm here with your teacher glow up. Can you guess who these Southwest Cap staff are? First, we have. You guessed it, Mr. Selchuk. Can you guess who this is? Yep, you guessed it, Miss Monday. Up next, we have. Coach Williams himself. This one might be a little tricky. Do you think you could get it right? Yep, Miss Neal. And last but not least, can you guess who this is? A one and only top. How many did you get right? Can you tell who these staff were? Do they still look the same? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Lately, we've had some very chilly mornings. I wonder what the weather would be like this weekend. Here's Zariah with your weekend weather forecast. Hey guys, it's Zariah. Fall is finally upon us, and here's your weekend weather report. Friday will be partly cloudy with a high of 86 and a low of 65. Saturday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 84 and a low of 64. Sunday will also be partly cloudy with a high of 81 and a low of 66. And lastly, Monday there will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 77 and a low of 63. 
And that will conclude your weekend weather report. Stay safe and enjoy your weekend. Now back to you, Josh. Our Mighty Panthers dominated in sports last week. Here's Joe with more. What's up, Panthers? It's Joe Fitz here with this week's sports. Last Friday, the football team played Latonia Bulldogs and won with a score of 47-6. The football team will be taking on St. Pius Golden Lions today at St. Pius. Hopefully we get another W. The homecoming game is next Friday. Panthers will be taking on MLK Lions at Godfrey Stadium at 7.30. Don't miss it. The volleyball team had two games last week against Lovejoy Wildcats and Redan Raiders. Lovejoy was victorious in the first set and the Panthers brought it home the last two. Panthers also defeated the Raiders that day. They will match up against Heritage Generals next Thursday here at Southwest. The softball team played MLK Lions last Thursday and won with the score of 26-1. Next Tuesday, our softball team will be taking on Clarkson Rams at Clarkson. That's it for this week's sports. Back to you, Josh. Thank you for watching SWD Panthers TV. I'm your host, Joshua Small. Stay tuned for our next episode. And remember, Panthers, always embrace the good tradition. We are Southwest of Cab. I know you won't. Yeah, walking on the bridge, I threw my sins over the deep end. Sip it to my stomach, hurt this month, I done lost three friends. Early morning brainstorming, normally I can't sleep in. Sometimes I just want to restart it, but it all depends. If I'm gonna be that same young hungry from the West End. But my heart is wrong, and the crazy part I ain't have no pen. Made back interior, came with sheepskin. Still remember when I just had three bands. Now I'm the one everyone call on, cause I got deep pants. Bro told me to